sitting here with, what's your name? Peanut. Peanut, alright. Uh, how you like it? It's alright. Okay, that's cool. Uh, how long you been here? Like, maybe like three or four months. Three or four months, okay. And so, okay, so do you think your prices are cheaper than other stores? Huh? Do you think your prices like are cheaper than in other, like in this store, the other yeah. stores? Okay, and what makes you think that? Because we look out for the hood, our people don't. Here at St. Paul Food Market, right over here on St. Paul. And I'm in here with, uh, what's your name? Sarah. Sarah? Okay, and how long have you been here, Sarah? Uh, we are here almost uh, more than nine years. Nine years, okay. Here with Khadija. Uh, how are you doing, Khadija? Hi, how are you? Um, where's you from? From West Africa, Mali. Okay, that's a nice place. Um, so tell me, um, tell me the prices, like, tell me the prices compared to the other stores. Like, how much y'all uh, got the tissue cost? Scott tissue, we got here for dinner rice, cheaper than the other store. Okay. That's a good we have some more tissue for seventy-five cents. So. Tissue. Yeah. Trying to sell stuff very cheap, make things easy for people. Money is very tight this time, and the economy is very bad. We've been to like other stores. Can you tell me a little something about the store, like the prices and all? What makes you so different from other stores? Why we are different than other stores? Because we do marketing by ourselves. First of all, we have made. We go and we check out the price because some people are uh, selling higher prices, some are cheaper, so we always look for a cheaper prices from where we can get it. So you have a uh, And this way we buy some of the prices. Okay. So, um, uh, why do y'all decide to shop here rather than go to a grocery store? Um, I mean, I like, uh, they have fresh fruit and vegetables here. And, uh, uh, well, I, I like, uh, they got fresh uh, fruits and vegetables here. And uh, the prices are nicer than the other ones. What about you? I like it because it's close. I don't have to go out the county in the wood. Good shot. Like products, like cereal and all. Would you say the prices are paying here? Yeah, I mean, uh, here. Yeah, I like uh, I like Captain Crunch. About here, they're about like, is it like $3.40 something? Other stores, they're usually like $5. I say that like $100 in trade. Number is that, how much your cereal box? So, we have different kinds, different prices. We have some for $3, $3.40, and we have some for $5. Like, for example, the demand is not very close over here. It's about uh, more than a couple of miles. And right. Zebra is also about two miles. And uh, even uh, sometimes you don't get a better price at Zebra or Giant. Okay. Especially for cigarettes, their prices are higher than my store. Right, right. Even right in Walmart, their prices are higher than my cigarette price. Okay, so give me an example, like your cigarettes. How much your cigarettes uh, compared to other stores? Hey, what's your name? Ashley. Alright, and where you all from? Okay, California. Okay. Well, that's cool, that's cool. I see y'all sitting here smoking a cigarette. Uh, did y'all just buy that? Uh, so tell us, how much did you take for cigarette? How much did you pay for it? Uh, for a whole pack? Yeah. Uh, six eight two. Six eight two. Now, let me ask you this. Do you think it would be more cheaper if you went to another store? I think so. It would be cheaper if I went to a corner store. It would probably be... Probably be like five, six dollars. A lot cheaper. Or you can just buy some police ones. That would be a police one. Okay, and you think the same way? Yeah, like prices went up over the years, you know, for like any product, you know, taxes, you know, like everything. It's like the more that you buy something, the higher the prices go. How much do cigarette costs here compared to the grocery store? Yeah, six, seven. Like store, a little bit more. A little bit more. So you ready to come in and get your yeah. cigarettes and all? Yeah. I mean, the prices are good. I would say like a corner store is better because they know you personally. Right. They know more than what you're going to get. By this band, so much of population, they get a lot of people coming in. 
and you know they don't know you personally. They just wanna want you to get what you gotta get. You know, going on about your business. Okay. And your other products like I don't know, like lotions or deodorant. Like compared to the other stores, they be like maybe like six or seven dollars. How much would it cost here? You do it. Huh? You do it cost from uh, two seventy nine to four fifty. It depends what kind of deodorant you want. Okay. And size. Do you think you do better? Like, 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 do more stuff for the store? Maybe like have more hours, open up earlier. Uh, no, but, uh, because uh, we don't want to go for more hours, too much work, and that's a seven-day job. So plus. Uh, Late night, I don't want to be open because I don't have liquor. If I have liquor, I would like to, but uh, due to the state law, I cannot get the liquor over here. Okay, you make a good point. Some stores ain't like that. And um, um, you said the customers, they're very friendly, y'all. Yeah, friendly. Very friendly. Very nice neighborhood. And I see, like, the store is in downtown, so y'all get a lot of customers, don't you? Oh, yeah. Okay, like how often do you like get customers? How many, like, what's the average customer that come here then? I never calculated. <laughs> but uh, more than 200 customers. More than 200? So it must be a real nice store. If you like people come around here, talk to you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, as we see, we got customers right here. Do y'all open seven days a week? Seven days a week, 14 hours, sometimes it's just 15. Right, and other compared to other stores, they close like on Sundays. You know, they'll stay open for like 12 hours. That's the good thing here. Our customer knows even, you know, Christmas. We think we we still worry about people than us. You know, um, like holiday, everybody wanna stay home, but we can't be here. You know, everywhere else would be closed. So. Right. Our customer, they know we be here for them. Holiday, uh, wherever they can be here. So uh, that's the that's the good thing here. And about the price, I can say it's fair. It's really, really fair. Really fair. Okay, so other than that, do you think you can like? Do you think you can do better, or you think it's fine where it is right now? We can do better. We try to. Like maybe like open a little longer maybe? Yes, we work yeah, for school. We still work in Holland. Okay. Like maybe oh, I need some put some wheels here, bring some different stuff and maybe go to 24 hours. When you have no food in your house, you be hungry. And you you down your last dollar, you gotta feed your kids, and you buying where where's where's food gonna come from? You got nowhere to go? Come here, we try to help. We got him people like him like to play all the time. Yeah, sure. See, he plays, see? Yeah, he got friendly. Yes, they is friends, but I mean all jokes from side though, but when you don't got nothing like a homeless person walk the street. I don't mind feeding them, you know what I'm saying, because they don't know, they don't know where they milk coming from. I mean, they out here trying to make a, trying to make hands meet. They right. can't do it, because right. they got nobody to look out for them. Right. So somebody like me or her, or my other boss that who own it, we try to look out for other people. Right ain't going to do it, they want their money. Farm Fresh ain't going to do a pig, they want their money. This dude right here next door to us, he ain't going to do it, they want their money. Right. All that we say, just respect the store, we respect you. Can't get what you want, but we try to work it out with you. Just pay us back like the end of the month come or something like that. But that's how we do things. Right. Name in the game is respect. Respect. If you want respect, earn respect, you gotta give it. Alright. If you don't respect people, people ain't gonna respect you. Okay, alright. Well uh I'm glad I'm glad you uh talked to me today. It's a real pleasure to uh, meet you. And uh Oh, my man. Again. No problem. All right.